Today on Mummy Maker, we are going to use some wooden spoons to create this fabulous farm yard puppet set. You will need some wooden spoons, some paint in a range of colours, some paintbrush, a plastic container, some pom poms, and some felt. Good job. What are we making with this one, Chelsea? A um, pig. A pink pig. To create your pig, you'll want to paint the top half of your wooden spoon in a pink paint. Okay. Should we let this one dry? Yeah. Can we do another one? Yeah. There yeah. we go. All right, ready? Oh, what are you going to make, Chelsea? I'm going to make a cow. cow. Okay, yeah. so we're going to use some white and Chelsea's going to make a cow and Mummy is going to make a fox. So the fox requires two colours, whereas the cow just needs to be painted white. We're going to paint the bottom half of the wooden spoon white. So with the fox, I would start with the white because obviously you can put orange over white, but more difficult to put white over orange. I'm going to take a smaller brush and what we're going to do is the orange of the fox. So up top. And then what we want to do is make the nose so it goes pointy. Okay, like that. Make a horse or a dog, Chels? Horsey. Horsey. So to make the horse, you'll want to paint this wooden spoon a light brown colour. And Chelsea's painting another white one to become a sheep. Oh, that's funny. That's oh, 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 a little bit more. <laughs> okay, a bunny or a sheep, do you reckon? A, a baba bar sheep. And last but not least, a yellow one, which is going to become our little chicken. Hello, what's your name? <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Hello, Texter. Your name's Texter, is it? Texter the fox. Should we draw his little face on? Yeah. Draw his okay, so we're going to take our little fox. The first thing we need to do is trace along in black along the line just to give it some extra defining feature. There we go. Now we've done that, we need to draw his little nose just at the point part. A mouth. We do need his mouth. Okay, is he smiling or is he angry? Is he happy? Should he be happy if we give him a smile? Yeah. Okay, ready? <gasps> He's a smiling fox. Is it, it the eyes. He does need eyes. I think we need to paint some white on him first. So then I painted some little white dots on our fox's face. Okay, what you want to then do is like a little snout that goes around here. Make the cow, we need a little bit of pink paint. And what we're gonna do is create like a kind of like an oval shape, I suppose. There we go. A grey nose for our pig. I then painted some white dots for our pig's eyes. Some white eyes for our horse some white eyes and an orange beak for our chicken, some pink lips for our sheep. I then got out my black permanent marker and started to trace around our animal's features. So for example, traced around black on the cow's nose, black eyes for the fox. I got the, had the really fun part of colouring in the cow, so lots of black spots, um, some eyes, and a smile. I drew the mouth on our lamb, so a little line followed by a little smile. 
some eyes and some eyes in my chicken. And then you've painted and drawn all of your features and it's just a matter of adding the tiny little felt pieces to your puppets. So first we cut out a bell shape with our yellow felt and using a hot glue gun or um, any kind of glue really, you stick down your felt bell on the back of your chicken puppet. I also glue down a little yellow pom-pom on its head. I glued down two little pink pom-poms on the side of the pig wooden spoon to become its ears. I then cut two little black ears and some little mane hair using some black felt and stuck it down at the front of my cow. I cut two little red ears for our fox and stuck them at the back of the spoon. Cut some felt eyebrows out of some black felt and stuck it down just to add some extra spots. Uh, and then I used some little white pom-poms and stuck it around the top of my lamb. Another pom-pom on his neck. And that's it. There are your completed farm yard wooden spoon puppets. So to make the barn, um, I just used an old cardboard box. So you'll see this is Chelsea's wipes and painted the box red. It really doesn't matter the size, whatever size box you've got laying around. You'll then want to cut the back part of your box off. So this will be the part where your little one can go in and use it as your um, little puppet show. You'll then want to cut out half of the top of your box. So you'll see here I cut around the top and halfway down the side of the box. And then I folded it down to become a flap. Because the inside was brown anyway, I didn't need to paint it. I then painted a cross with some white paint and traced all the way around the sides with some white paint as well. Let it dry and your farmyard puppet show is ready to begin. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, -E -E and on that farm he had a... Sheep. A sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and, and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. On that farm he had a fox. What's your name? I'm Tilly. Tilly? Uh, do you have a cow there? Yeah. What's that one? A sheep. Hi sheep, what's your name? Baba. Baba -ba sheep. Hi Baba -ba sheep. Hi Baba -ba sheep. Nice to meet you. See you too. Hi, Fox. 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 Hi, Fox.